Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. If you are new here, my name is Pedro and in today's video I bring you something I have been thinking doing it at the end when I finish my island. But because we are in the end of the year, I want to leave everything behind, see what new and everything could be done for the new year. So I'm going to make a tour of my Animal Crossing island. And of course, I will tell you in advance, it's not finished. We have a big part of my island is still need to be done. Uh, I didn't make videos of everything I have done already in my island. And because of that, I having a lot of doubts of what to do, how to do. Sometimes I even think about restarting my island and I'm not sure exactly what to do. So I wanted to share with you what I have done, my thoughts, my thinking and i hope you love it as i do so if you enjoy this kind of content please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to like the video at the end if you enjoy it and to comment to help me out what i should do about my island so without further ado for now we will dive into the video <laughs> So, when you arrive to the island, this is what you will see. I didn't change the flag yet. I think that will be one of the last things I will do or if I found some custom design, I really, really enjoy it and fits in the team. I'm thinking the island right now, I'm very confused of what is the team of my island, what I should do. But I think first of all, we will dive into the map. So the map doesn't have nothing special uh, and of course is just being me terraforming doing things we can see a big big chunk of water in the middle of the map uh, for villagers I have Hug Hug was the first smug who show up in my campsite the first first villagers I don't have none of them except Hug then all of the other ones I have been hunting for it or they show up in the campsite so then we have Rolf we have Tabby we have Nana we have Bohun we have Petri we have Zoe Ali we have Odi and of course last but not least we have Alice and all of them are very spread to the island all of them have a little bit of themselves in the island and I really really like that and yeah so this is the map I don't have a dream address yet because I was planning to do it when I finished the island but let me know if you would like to see it for yourself uh, if you like me to do a dream address even uh, to an incomplete island and I will be more than welcome to share it. As you can see, the facilities like the resident service are quite close to my airport. We have uh, the nooks, we have Able Sisters on the left side. On the right side, we have the museum and the campsite. And of course, we have the airport where we start this tour. So when we go through this uh, entrance, I have a little bit of new items, but I feel like it's kind of a little bit naked. Of course, we are in a season who, for me personally, as a jungle island, it doesn't suit so, so well uh, the environment I'm looking for. So it's, it's kind of tricky to show you this island at this point, but because it's the end of the year and because I am in the North Hemisphere, we are in winter and we are gonna deal with it. Um, we have some little terraforming uh, in the entrance, very simple, a lot of flowers and bamboos. I love, love, love this arch. This was something I put it very, very recently. And of course, if we cross this arch, we are directly in the residence services. So then we have two sides, the left side and the right side. We go for the right side first. So if we go through these steps, we have a wonderful, wonderful view. And this is a place I really, really enjoyed. It's not like a viewpoint, but you have a little bit over groves, a little bit jungly, tigery place. And I really, really enjoyed this steps here on the side. Here we have a hot tub there. Here we have a little bit of a party. This was just to fill up space and clutter a little bit uh, this um, these higher places in my island. 
if we go through here i'm not gonna go through because then we will come back through here but this is behind my resident services i really really enjoy it how this looks here is really really pretty uh and they have a wonderful view it's one of my favorite places this is one of the first things i did uh and i never never showcase it so here if we go through the right side we have what i call the archaeology place um it's where used to be my museum because it was a tent and i kind of regret a little bit to not change it because of Brewster, because of 2.0. Uh, I don't think at this point uh, was worth it to do it. But at the end, I put a scientist here. Petri is here and is not decorated at all. This is a place who was decorated before when the museum was here. But right now, since I moved the museum, uh, it's no longer decorated and it needs to be finished. But here we have a little bit of where the archaeologists will rest. Uh, I wanted to make it uh, like a little bit of a desert with some of the fossils, the statues. It looks like they are, she's working on it in this case, Petri, because before was Blanders. Uh, and I really, really like how all of this zone turned out. One of my favorite ones and has connection with my ultimate favorite zone so this is my campsite and of course i decided to make as a pirate cove because i imagine all the time uh we have some villager came into the campsite they are like pirates and they are fighting for their place in my island so they want to eliminate someone on the island to take their place and that's why i decided to make this piratey zone of where all of them land the beaches here are not done and of course i have um this guy here not done my port is not done uh so yeah it's it's been a long time i love 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 how this look here and you have a wonderful when the the thing are, are not here like the tent you have a wonderful view to the rest of this side of the island wow i love it love it love it love it it's like my top three favorite places this is like very high on the list if we go through the side uh i think something who is this motivated and i want to make a little pause here is the beaches i decided to put all the flowers here because i was having a very very big problem uh with breeding flowers they were like spreading massively to the island and some of them I sold it, some of them I put it here. And I think this, all the time I have these beautiful places I have created. But then when you go to the side, you have like this and it's like, nah. I want to do it, but I don't know. I'm scared of selling them because I have some plans to do the beaches. But at this point, I just want to do it at the end. Uh, and I, I really don't know uh, if that is one of the points is motivating and i should change them i don't know so here when we go to the back of course we have the rice fields with the sugar cane this is a build i bring you in a video very very recently i love how this look it's very simple i was having some lag on my island so i decided to create this to have a more open space and less cluttered zone um so it's a very, very simple thing, uh, but I love how this look. So if we go a little bit up on this right side, we have Alice home here and it's so, so cute. I just added before I start the video, this wheat fields here. I like, I'm just testing to see if they work or not. Here I have my orchard. Uh, I think the orchards always take so much space. I really enjoy it how it is and where it's placed it because it's behind the rice fields uh, and it brings some less jungly vibe to the island. It's, it looks more foresty. I try to bring the jungle with the bamboos and the palm trees and then you have these fruit trees and sometimes I just want to delete it and other times I like it and I have mixed feelings about it. It's very simple, the yard of 
palace. It just have bamboos all here and there, some lanterns. It's very beautiful, beautiful at night. Uh, and of course, if we go through the side of it, we arrive to the old abandoned tracks from the trains. And all of this will make sense a little bit more further down. Uh, I think I will change uh, this wheat field with another place with the pumpkin patches I have it. I think I'm going to mix it and match and try to make it more diverse and try to match it to make a little bit more comfort zone in the other side we will see very very soon uh, but here is the abandoned old station with some uh, protection area because uh, we have the orchard here here is where is Huck I love 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 his little corner with the books he's very like nerdy and snob and I really really feel he will enjoy like to have this Kind of rare flowers uh, and have the books to be able to read if we go through the tracks uh, all of this part of the island is like disactivated uh, and of course then we have here another home and this is like kind of the station and the main station and here we have uh, Nana home uh, and I love the sight of this home like the the snack machine and all the tools here uh it's it's so beautiful and it's so beautiful in the autumn uh and yeah winter doesn't make my island to be so beautiful i guess in my point of view uh so if we go here of course we go to the orchard and of course if we cross this bridge is what we have seen from uh, the top part of the right side of my resident services and of course is Rolf our area. Rolf grow on me since I got him. He's one of my favorite ones. He's a cranky. I think I identify myself a lot with him to be quite grumpy, like not being a morning person. And I decided to make this relax it uh, with a lot of like hiding tigers everywhere for him to be like the dominant tiger on my island and that is what I decided to create here for him uh, and I never sure shared this uh, because I think this is not exactly a massive build it's just like a filler space but at the same time is one of my favorite villagers and sometimes I pass here and I think he deserved more I prefer other places of my island than this place but let's continue here on the abandoned tracks I love 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 how this look so much but so much like this closed down tracks was abandoned they were used before for something we will see in a second in the other side of my island uh, but right now they are disactivated so people start building around and using the tracks things starting growing things were abandoned here and there and i love 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 if we go through this stairs we have here something i don't even have words to describe it uh i hate this place uh i did it okay uh i thought was fine and it's, this is the museum and I hate the the layout of the museum in my island and this is one of my urgent places needed to be changed like as fast as I could um, I, I don't like it I don't know if it's the stars if it's uh, here this like sunken kind of forest with the trees I, I hate it I need to change this. Uh, I think this is pushing me a little bit down. Uh, I always came here and I'm like, after 2.0, uh, I'm gonna delete my island. I don't like this. I, I don't like this. So yeah, um, let's move on because I don't have much to show here. 
I feel like I don't know why I don't know what I did here. It's uh, the idea is kind of cool, but I don't like it. I I don't like it, and I definitely definitely will change this very 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 soon. Then we have here Alice Place, and I love love how this turned out. It's so pretty with the bridges, the bamboo, the plants in the back. And it's such a shame to have her here on the side of my ugly museum. Um, this is definitely like second place of my, like third place. I The second one is a special one. We will see it in a second. Um, and yeah, this is Alice's place. So then here is where it starts to be a little bit bare. Here is Red's Beach is not done. I'm just going to show you here. All of this area is not done still uh, on the top through the left side. But the left side, like the extreme left side of my island is done. So let's dive into here. First of all, uh, we have Bahoon here, but we have this kind of stepping stones and this kind of bridge and is beautiful this is behind my resident services i love how this look the view the water running in summer is so beautiful so green so foresty so jungly it's so pretty i love it i never shared this before you saw this only if you've been on my streams uh, because i pass here sometimes but i love this so much i cannot explain how much I love this so we are back to the resident service if you take this part and then here we arrive to the left side of my island so here is the resident services if you take the left part here we have a kind of infinity pool resting area with a hot tub and of course you can jump on this stones and have the look of this sunken forest and i love just to be here looking the stone edge everything oh it's so pretty i love it love it love it love it i don't like the aquarius urn there on the top that is another thing i need to change but this view with the water i love to have water i love water in real life and i love to have water in my island so yeah this was something i really really want to have it is a massive massive place uh, of my island i can show you on the map so you can see me there on the middle where is the marking point is on the d3 if you want to be more precise and you have the view of all of that backdrop there it's so beautiful it's a massive place of my island like not usable but i love it just for the view so continue the tour if we continue to this left side we have starting here what at the beginning i thought to be um like a trash city like a jungly trash city and here is where we have selling vegetables we have fertilizers we have plants we have here the gnome in charge of all of this this here you can go down if you go through this side you go to the resident services and here we have some newspaper we are looking for it some illegal stuff is happening in this island and everyone is looking for him actually he's on my island today what is quite fun so i think we found him but this is the first thing you will see is the newspaper stand here we have a little bit of a trash city and here is where is located my nooks cranny i love this nooks cranny road with a lot of boxes like some statues and the idea behind this place here is for example the statues was here and they just built around the statues the statues didn't never change the bamboo was there but instead of eliminating and constructing a 
new city they are mixed with like the card boxes of things they receive it every day in nook's cranny we have a working table here a scooter we have a yellow boot font so it's mixing the old stone things with new items we have a hanging rack on this side some electricity pole of course because this is what for me represents a little bit of uh, city and then we st start having a little bit of a farm feel um, and here is the point of uh, maybe the I need to change this I always had even in my previous island uh, and do not forget I start this island in March and I have another island uh, in my Nintendo Switch Lite I never finished so that's why for a hand, I want to restart this island because I'm not happy with what I have done. But in another hand, I really, really want to finish the island. And what I really think this island needs is some switches here and there. And here is the place I really want to put like the wheat uh, together with pumpkins, make some new decorations, remove this decoration from Halloween, uh, maybe removing the fences making it different here we have like a honey production area with this cedar trees it's not too foresty so or jungly it's more foresty than jungly that's what i want to say and i'm not too happy about it here we have the honey stand of course because we have the honey production there here we have a coconut production i love 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 this uh uh lace here on my island uh, the cliffs are beautiful uh, maybe you need some uh, like vines here and there uh, and I need to start working on it of course this beach is empty too because I'm reserving the beaches for the end almost all of them because now if we continue to the left side and we cross the bridge we have a continuity of this junk city but this side is a little bit more posh work with renovated so here we have the flower stall and here is a place where you came here you choose the flower you want to have uh, and you cut them down and you take them home for decoration to make flower arrangements and of course here is where Abel Sisters is because it's a little bit more developed it's a little bit more um, posh and I see Abel Sisters as being a posh thing so if you go to a place where they do things on your side uh, like uh, um, how do you call it the people who uh, um, oh uh, how you call it like do clothes by sizes like you go there they take the, your sizes i can't remember the name in english but you know what i mean and here is where they produce we have i love this place it's so pretty this little corner on the side of abel's uh, is where they wash the clothes before they put it to sell to be fresh to be clean to be everything uh sable is there uh, abel uh, is here uh, taking all of this measurements and things of course here we have the flower stand on this side too and of course here we have Audi if we go straight and all of this is to represent a more like a yacht club like very posh Audi have her stand here she serves drinks uh, it's a very very posh place taking care in the middle of the city to relax to came with friends uh, to take some sun uh, and we have the shells and um, of course now it's winter it looks a little bit cold to be outside uh, but in summer Audi is taking care of everything here um, I was at the beginning I didn't know if Audi could match my island but after making this beach for her with the flamingos and the pineapples i decided to take this custom design um so it have the dress of all these all over these beaches it's so beautiful we have the hot tub the surfing boards uh and it's a very very posh yacht but in every posh place we always and i imagine this to be so you if you go on holidays in paradise and islands you always have uh something i think 
should talk about it and we should think about it. So you always have these tourist areas, sometimes, sometimes even divided by big walls. And when you cross that big walls, you have a very poor uh, place or exploration of previous forests. So first of all, ignore all these plants. This, this flowers need to go. This is not part of the idea I'm just sharing right now. But here is where something is going on and Red is being called out. Uh, Tabby is uh, arranging and working together with him. I don't know what's going on here, but they being exploring the resources of the island. And here is the first 2.0 items I've used and I create all of this place. I love it so much like this exploration mining area they are removing all the resources destroying the jungle they create the tracks the other side was deactivated so it, the jungle is taking over again and on this place uh, it is like you have cut the trees you have oil everywhere big machines uh, we don't know exactly what's going on here and my idea is to connect this with Red Beach and to finalize the tracks there in his beach like he came with his boat from time to time collecting the materials stealing the resources from the island and the villagers are trying to to stop this like Odi just want to have her business and this is to contrast with all this place and this side of the island and yeah this is it uh this is what finalized my island all the rest of the island is not finished at all it's completely blanked um and i'm having a kind of dilemma of what i should do next uh, what I should do here. We have some stepping stones here, but nothing is finished. It's... I don't know. I think I put my island in a little bit of a second plan. Um, I was not expecting that. Uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Happy Home Paradise. Don't get me wrong. I love Happy Home Paradise, uh, but I need to stop a little bit. Um, I think I need to focus a little bit more again in my island and I think I need to change some places I have done before uh, to be to bring me joy again to bring me all the joy again or to bring all the sparkle again and yeah I hope you enjoy this tour uh, let me know what you think so here you have it my island tour unfinished island i hope you enjoy it let me know what do you think about all the thoughts i have been sharing today um i hope you have a wonderful wonderful christmas if we don't see each other until there uh and thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments uh, what do you think if you have some ideas what i should do how I should sparkle again, if I should change my place, if you enjoy the island. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to have more content like this. And about me, I will see you all in the next one.